Now is the time for advanced SOQL. Not exactly advanced SOQL, but basically uh, the different different things or different different uh, functionalities that we have uh, with SOQL. Let's understand each one of them. So first of all, you need to understand that what types of uh, data an SQL query can return. So they are divided into four types. I cannot explain uh, or give you an example of each one of them right now. It will come along the way. But uh, these are the four basic return types of an SQL query. Number one, you already know, list of S objects. So yes, uh, like an SQL query returns list of S objects as a, a list of records that uh, you get from an SQL query. And uh, the next is S object. So you sometimes when uh, there is only one record that is getting returned from an SQL query, I'll come to that point, I'll explain you wh when that happens. But in that case, you do not have to uh, use a list of S object, you can use a single S object as well to get that record or to store that record in Apex. The third is integer. So uh, there, there are cert certain uh, like certain functions which we call as aggregate functions that we're going to discuss right now over here, uh, which returns an integer value or a double value or a numeric value. Uh, based on the operations or the aggregations that you perform onto the data that is presented to the database. And the fourth one is aggregate result. So that's another type of uh, class. Aggregate result is a class of uh, and whenever we use these aggregate functions, it also returns most of the time it uh, returns aggregate results, uh, result classes as uh, classes objects. Let me repeat. You're writing an SQL query. You're using an aggregate function inside it. It will return object of aggregate result that's it so that these are the four return types that we have in uh, soql let's talk about these aggregate functions which return the aggregate result so there are many type of aggregate functions and what these aggregate functions uh, do is there is a set of records that are presented to the database for a particular object and you want a certain operation to be performed onto one of its field value and you want uh, that output to be returned to you so in that case you're going to use aggregate function. Let me give you a simple example. You want to calculate that uh, how many opportunities we have closed up till now. All of them. You want uh, the complete count of it. So you're going to use count which is an aggregate function. You want how many uh, like uh, like how much uh, we have uh, earned by selling this particular product. So that you can you uh, like you can get the output of that with the help of an aggregate function. So let's see one by one which all aggregate functions we are available with. So the first aggregate function that we have in uh, SQL is sum. It basically uh, adds all the values of that particular field for the records that you have selected into that SQL query. Let's have a look at the example that is present over here. So over here I've written down select then sum and inside sum, I've written down the field of whose value I want to add. So I've written down amount and I've, uh, then from opportunity. So what it, it will do is it will select all the opportunities from the opportunity object or opportunity records from the opportunity object. And it will get all the amount field values in all the uh, opportunity objects records and it will add all of them. Let me explain it to you. So imagine there are four opportunities. One opportunity is of 1 million, the other one is of 3 million, the other one is of 5 million and one, uh, the other one is of 7 million you can say. So what it will do is like it will add the amount of all these four opportunities and return it to us in the form of an aggregate result object. That's it. So uh, for this one, uh, five and seven million, one, three, five, seven mil, uh, million opportunities will get the output as one plus uh, three is four and then plus five is nine and plus seven is 16. So it will return the answer as 16 million to us. So this is how it will basically work. It depends on the records that you're getting from that particular uh, query. So over here, I've only written down from opportunity. I can also include some clauses, some where clause uh, to narrow down the records that I'm getting out of it. But this is how basically your aggregate result, uh, aggregate function like sum works. The next function is max. So like sum summarizes all the values present into that particular field of all the records that we are getting out of that query. Similarly, max finds out and returns the maximum value that is present into that particular field. So if I'll uh, use max, like select max, then bracket amount, then from opportunity, it will basically return 
the maximum amount uh, like the maximum amount that is present or the maximum value that is present onto the amount field in all the opportunities that's how it works next one min similar to maximum uh, it will return the minimum value uh, which is present into the amount field uh, in all the opportunities and this will also return an aggregate result object next count you're going to use it a lot of time and i've explained it earlier as well that uh, if you want to calculate how many records are there uh, or how many records are we getting out of this particular query then in that case you need to use the count aggregate method or account aggregate function so let's have a look at this program count integer i is equals to select count uh, there is nothing inside count from opportunity so it will return the total number of opportunity records that that are present in our salesforce orgs database that's it and remember i told you about the return types over there we saw that integer is also a return type of soql this is the place like this is the situation in which sql returns uh, what an integer value so select count will basically return uh, all the like the total number of uh, opportunity records that are present into the opportunity object now there are some variations uh, with count as well and those are aggregate result ar4 this is again uh, nothing but uh, if i'll write down count id like if i write down any field inside this count aggregate function then it will calculate uh, the non null values and then will return the output so id is nothing but record id and it it is a, a required field in a system generated field which is present for each and every s object or each and every record of that particular object so this will return the same value as this will like select count from opportunity and select count bracket id from opportunity is same there is no difference between both of them but if i'll write down select count bracket amount then it will only return the output or uh, that it will only consider the non null values which are present into the amount field of opportunity let me give you an example to explain it uh, so think of it as you have uh, 10 opportunity uh, records uh, 10 records in opportunity object and uh, you are like writing down select count from opportunity so it will return you 10 simple select count id it will also return you 10 and if you are writing down select count then bracket amount from opportunity so in that case you will only get the records or you'll only get the count of the records which do not have uh, which have amount fields value uh, as not null so imagine there are uh, amount is not a required field so there are only six opportunities which has any value inside the amount field and four opportunity records do not have any value inside the amount field so in that case the output that we are going to get from it is select uh, get from select count bracket amount from opportunity is six so this is the basic difference between uh, like using the count aggregate function just like this and with a particular field. Next and very important aggregate function that you all know is average. So we can use average uh, aggregate function to get the average value out of it. So if we uh, will write down select uh, then AVG and bracket amount from opportunity it will return the average amount that is there in all the opportunity records that's it the last aggregate function that we have is count underscore distinct let me explain you what it exactly do so count returns the value or, or returns the number of uh, records that are present for that particular query or for that particular uh, amount whatever like whichever way you use it but count distinct is a specific function which you need to use to find out how many unique values are there into that particular field so if, if i'll write down select count distinct and then in the bracket i'll write down amount from opportunity it will return me the number of records or the number of opportunities that have unique value into the amount field now you have got all the aggregate functions but you still do not know how to use this aggregate result object so let me explain it to you how you're going to use it so in this program i have ar7 as an aggregate result object and to get the value that we uh, got from this aggregate function we need to uh, use a method which is called as get so how we're going to use it is and we want to i want to store the value into a variable into an integer variable i want to store that value and use it into this apex program so i'll write down integer i2 and then after that i'll write down ar7.get 
and then inside it i'll write down the uh, the value that i want to get out of uh, this aggregate result so i why i have write, uh, written down it as expr0 is uh, because expr0 is uh, a type of argument uh, with which the like it's a key and with this key a value it is attached which is returned by the aggregate function and if there are two or more values that are returned then in that case expr0 will return this and expr1 will return something else and expr2 will return something else but most of the time expr0 is more than sufficient so if you uh, if you want uh, like the value of the uh, yeah, the value out out into the apex program and inside inside a variable then this is how you're going to get it that's it